Hello guys, so today we're gonna see Convex that is uh, like a backend as a service that is uh, they provide database and uh, storage options and a lot of other things. So um, for your context, I was like uh, participating in one hackathon that was uh, organized by Theo, if you might know, he's popular of course. So Theo uh, organized a clonathon that is one, like the theme was basically to build a T3Chat clone that he has, the T3Chat he has. So to build the best T3Chat clone so that was the theme so i uh, didn't want the hackathon <laughs> but i got the time to explore convex so let me show what it does and it's all uh, totally open source so you can give it a star and it's currently 5.2k stars so let's see what it does uh, i have built one uh, whiteboard for this so convex is like basically a backend as a service uh, so they have their database which is totally totally a reactive database so uh, it uses WebSocket connection under the hood so that the client and the cloud that is self-hosted you may have self-hosted that or even use uh, their own cloud version so you can connect your client to the their to the cloud using WebSocket connection and the changes are instantly shown in the UI so that's what like a really good uh, feel like experience I have developer experience I got so, and also it's super easy uh, they have their own docs which I'll show uh, after a bit so uh, they even have their new vector embeddings that's not new but yes uh, like uh, all the ai stuff going on they have their um, vector embeddings for rag so yes um, so currently what i tried is their convex ai sdk so they have released their own ai sdk uh, which uh, like they have also implemented um, AI, under the hood they have implemented uh, versal ai sdk so i'll show you i will guide you for that so what it has is agents and workflows so workflows is for like complex workflows like if you have multi-step things uh, those are for workflows and agents are for like agents like agentic stuff giving the tools like we can uh, attach any llm model uh, yes it uses uh, versal ai sdk under the hood and you you can uh, look you can give any tools like a web search tool or any kind of tool like create a task on, on this notion or any uh, type of tool you can give and uh, it also has chat history so i'll uh, basically tell you what it does so these agents are really easy to build uh, totally in typescript javascript framework so yeah the best part i felt is managing the chat history so what it does is like uh, they have their threads suppose um, there is a thread uh, let me show you what is a thread so suppose i let me go to chatgpt.com so you can see these chats so this single chat suppose this one so this single chat is nothing but uh, a thread so let me show you this is a single thread where have there have there are multiple messages one is user input and ai response okay so the best part is the convex themselves handles all this chat history thing so they does it by using rag that is retrieval augmented generation so um, why they use rag because like um, uh, what happens is the chat history becomes more and more and more and in the current models that we have like claude or gemini is have like 1 million context length so leaving that apart but um, like open ai models or claude models they don't have generally much of the context length suppose they have uh, 200k uh, context length so the chat history might exceed that so there comes rag so that's why we use rag for like better uh, context management so yeah they the convex themselves manages all these things you don't need to handle all this you just need to see for thread id so you just need to give the thread id and it will continue the thread id it will it can generate a new thread id or it can show you the messages in the current thread id so it handles everything so this is the best thing i like uh, i liked them about so let's go into their agent sdk so yes here is the agent sdk they have so you can follow the docs so let me quickly do that so i'll build in next.js so let me open my term so this is a basic uh, next.js app so let's just follow the docs uh, what we need to do is uh, yeah so we need to install this convex dev agent so let me do that so i'm using pnpm and uh, we need to go to a convex yeah so before that we need to go through the quick start uh, where i need to show you something that is uh, while using uh, this convex we need to run this npx convex dev so after creating the next app that is uh, using this command you need to cd into this and npm install convex yeah we need to also use install convex so pnpm i convex and then what you need to run is npx convex dev cool so let's do that
So if you guys have not logged in, you first need to log in, and then you will show you will be shown these uh, options that is create a new project or choose an existing. So let's just create a new project, and uh, name will be convex uh, convex agent. Yeah, that's nice for now. And uh, creating convex project. Okay, cool. So yeah, this thing is being created. I think yeah, view the convex dashboard at this thing. This uh, let's just copy the URL. Let's copy this and let's see our this thing, this project on our dashboard. So continue with GitHub, and we can see the health data functions. Um, currently data is database is empty. We don't even have any functions. So yeah, let's just follow the docs. Hmm. So you can follow this starter guide, but I'm not going through that. I would rather go to this AI agent uh, docs and follow this. So what you need to do is uh, you have to create this thing convex uh, config.ts in the convex directory that is automatically created. So this folder will be automatically generated after you run npx convex dev. So you also would get uh, env.local. So this will also be generated automatically. Um, so this is the deployment URL and this is the convex URL of the cloud. Okay, cool. So then you have to uh, paste this convex. Uh, you want to create the create the file that is convex config db in dot uh, config dot ts. Yeah. Sorry for that. Let's copy this code. And here we are defining the app. Cool. Also the agent. Okay, nice. So then what we need to do is creating the agent. Okay. So let's create the agent. So let's copy the code. And for the this thing. We need to create another file that is agent.ts. You can name it anything. So let's just create. Hmm. So we need to install AI and uh, AI SDK OpenAI. These two models uh, that these two um, packages you need to install PNPM I AI and um, AI SDK OpenAI. Uh, what happened? Sorry. Okay, let's paste it. And yes, so let's install this. And then what you need to do, oh, I forgot about the sort. We also need sort for this sort. Okay, cool. So then what you need to do is, yeah, uh, for the agent, you can pass on any tools or whatever you like. So currently, mm, let's not give any tools currently for demo purpose. So instruction you can give. Uh, let's remove the comments. Sorry for that. Let's remove the comments. GPT-4 Omini, good for this uh, demo convex options context options uh, let's just not give anything uh, these things you can like uh, skip because uh, not that helpful and uh, for text embedding yeah this thing you need to pass that is open AI embedding model yeah you also need one like uh, open AI key because uh, you need to have the embedding model so uh, you like you have to create the vector embeddings right using means you don't need to create they like convex will create their own but you need to give the model for means which will you be used for creating the embedding models so for that you need to like paste your api key open api key so open api key into your dot env file so uh, let me go and create one and paste it into my dot env file you also just go and create one and so i have pasted this open api key so i'll be deleting this key so don't use mine so then what you can do is like follow the docs um so basically we have created the agent that is the support agent what you can do is then create a thread so let's just create a thread so let's, uh, these are uh, functions that is uh, convex functions w from where you can create a thread or do anything using convex so this is a mutation function uh, so yeah you can import this action from this uh, generated server that we have it here then what you need to do is uh, let's just skip this step because uh, it's not uh, required and uh, this thing uh, is not record this plus icon and uh, what else yeah so continue thread result and result dot text okay cool so you have created the thread you have created the continuing the thread okay cool so next step will be um, to mm -mm, also list out the thread so where is it uh, listing out the thread messages so here it is uh, listing out the thread messages using this okay uh, yeah let's just take this imports uh, here up here okay and what we have uh, this things okay so this okay this will be a promise yeah uh, I remember yeah that was the issue in the docs so you need to fix this will be a promise 
okay uh, this things th the thread id when you give the thread id it will list out all the messages that we have in the convex cloud so all these messages will be stored in the convex cloud and you just need to give the thread id and you can continue the thread you can create a new thread you can do uh, whatever you like so yeah uh, then what we have currently we have three functions create thread continue thread and list messages of a single thread you can also list out uh, all the uh, like threads you have so how many threads list out all the threads so currently this function is for listing out the thread messages so if you give the thread id it will list out all the messages so you can even uh, create function for listing out the total threads so now let's use these functions to uh, use in our ui and see how we can easily implement this and uh, build an assistant or yeah support agent okay awesome so let me create the ui for this and show you one another important thing you need to have is like you need to uh, npx convex dev you need to run this command after you have written all these functions so after you have written all these convex function functions in the like inside the convex uh, folder you need to run this command and it will push those uh, into the cloud let's see so yeah it's burning burning and analyzing the source code and you'll see the changes in the like dashboard uh, yeah so then uh, yeah so convex functions are ready and yes uh, you also need to copy this open api key into the dashboard so let's just go to dashboard and uh, settings and you'll see here environment variables and uh, let's add this as open AI api key uh, here it is and the value will be this so let's save it so i have created this using cursor so i have just told to use these functions that is convex functions and uh, create the ui so basically i have also uh, given the context of uh, this docs that is yeah this part so basically you just need to give the thread id and you just create uh, the like you can list the thread messages or even create the threads so let's see so what it has done is uh, this component is using thread messages that is list thread messages and uh, listing all the messages in that in that particular thread and for uh, creating and continuing the thread we have this two things that is create thread and continue thread so uh, what it is doing is when it uh, the page loads it just uh, creates the thread a random thread and what it does then uh, when we click on the handle submit of the form it just continues the thread awesome so then the this list messages automatically gives the messages one by one you don't need to create a separate use state hook or uh, manage any state of that you just see all the messages popped in in your ui because it has inter internally it's using websocket connection with the convex cloud so it's it will just pop in up so i have started the next.js server so let's just go uh, to this localhost 3000 so let's just say hi so hi hello yeah cool awesome you can see so this is just the basic ui you can build upon that and top over it and what i uh, can ask is uh, how much uh, which model are you which model are you let's see uh, if it can answer or not i'm based on gpt3 model which is okay cool so you can give the instructions you can change the instructions in the agent uh, this thing uh, when we are creating the agent you can change the instructions give give it the tools that you need like you need to give uh, so it can uh, act as an agent and you also don't have to manage all the context of this chat history so it is done by convex using their like a rag so let me show you how it is storing uh, where is it uh, yeah here it is so you can see the data in the agent when you click it will have the messages you can see the threads so currently I have uh, these many threads and uh, we have the messages. So in the messages you can find, so yeah, you can find this, uh, you can see these messages uh, where it is. Yeah, you can see the messages here. Also you can see the embeddings of these messages. So I guess the embeddings, yeah, embedding ID is stored here. And the embeddings, I guess uh, the OpenAI is using uh, 1536. So yes, you can see the embeddings, where is it? Uh, yeah, vector embeddings, yeah, this table so you can see the vector embeddings and uh, these all are stored in embedding 1536 because open AI embedding models are of 1536 dimensions so yeah that's uh, very awesome because you you have created one agent uh, 
uh, using simple convex functions that is super easy to build you can give all the tools uh, that it might have like uh, you want to give so and also you don't have to manage the chat history that's the best part because it handles reg uh, like uh, they automatically handles reg using the thread ids we have so i think you found it awesome so i i really enjoy using convex for this uh, i didn't own the hackathon that's a separate thing but i really enjoyed uh, deeping dive into convex and their new agent sdk so uh, let me think of using it in uh, some other projects as well and also do some rag implementation using their vector search and uh, uh, hopefully i will be making more videos on this i'm really liking convex so much so do give it a try and if you like the video do like share subscribe and all those stuff and let's meet in our next video till then peace